So it started so good uh, night, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good very early morning to everybody around the world. This is uh, the special Google Summer of Code uh, office hours just after the announcement uh, of the results uh, yesterday. Uh, it was late for many of you in uh, India, but a lot of people were online to wait very excitingly uh, on the results. Some were happy, others were less happy, and these are the kind of things I'd like to discuss uh, today. And for that, I'm going to uh, share my screen. Uh, I have a single screen here, uh, here, and so it will think. So I will from now on have uh, difficulties to. Uh, I don't see my screen correctly. Oh, something went wrong there. Uh, here, bear with me. I need to open my slides. The slide deck was closed. I apologize for this. So here we are. Uh, Alyssa or Bruno, do you see my full screen? Yes. I can see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So I'm a little bit driving blind. So I, I have a hard time to see the chat or to see uh, head movements or whatever. So I'm counting on, on Chris Bruno and uh, Alyssa to give me signals if there is something important. You got it. Okay, the first thing, I stole this slide from Alyssa because I like it very much. Some... Uh, General information about uh, questions and answers, and a quick reminder uh, to the code of conduct. This is the link uh, we have, and I love this picture. So we're here to congratulate uh, the contributors that were selected for uh, Google Summer of Code 2023. Uh, and to discuss how we move ahead. So the people that were, uh, and the projects that were selected, so we have the GitLab plugin modernization with uh, Harsh. We have uh, adding probes to plugin health score with uh, Jakruti. We have building, building Jenkins IO with alternative tools um, with Vandit. And we have Docker-based Jenkins uh, quick start examples with uh, Ashutosh. So congratulations to all. Um, happy for you. Now the adventure starts. So if you remember the analogy I used uh, with uh, rock climbing, now we reached the Everest base camp. And now they're not four. Uh, contributors there on the rock. We we have five, but let's say it's four. Four uh, made the long, so a lot of people made the long trek to reach the, the base camp. We learned a lot. Uh, if you look back uh, of what you now know and what has been achieved and the knowledge that you uh, you acquired, everybody had a great journey to reach this point. Now, four people are going to continue uh, the track and start the assault uh, uh, on the summit. We are now starting with those four persons and the mentor teams. We're now starting the bonding period. That means that we're going to plan what we're going to do, uh, how we're going to do uh, it, 
And yesterday evening after the announcement, I already uh, sent some uh, uh, ideas, guidelines, or uh, recommendations on how to move on with uh, the bonding period. We're going to let you breathe a little bit because there's a lot of excitement uh, for that. Um, just a note for Jakruti. Um, um, what's his name again? Oh, I'm getting old. Um, Adrien. Adrien is currently on uh, holiday. I couldn't join the meeting, so it might take a couple of days, but Jake will uh, organize things and I will look up that we don't lose too much time in uh, the preparation. But there's a bonding. Uh, this is the, the uh, what is for the people selected. Now I want to address mostly to the people that were not selected. Uh, the choice was not easy at all. So we had 62 proposals and 13 proposal made it uh, into the short list. So where they were really very strong and, and we had to choose them. And we picked up four projects uh, and ranked them uh, saying these are the projects that we can do and support and we hope that we get them uh, funded. We were lucky because uh, the, the normal number of projects per organization is three. Uh, and the majority is uh, three. We got one more. So we got all the projects we asked for and that we were able uh, to do. So uh, we're, we were lucky. I want to remind everybody that our ranking choice was based first of all on the proposal's quality. And I must say, besides some junk proposals, people never attended, never tried. And I want to emphasize here that uh, all the projects that were, or the proposals that were in the shortlist had drafts published and reviewed. So this confirms that this is a key for success. Uh, we had also to take into account uh, the lead and co-mentors and to set up a teams. Uh, as said, we were short in mentors and some mentors had to hook off. Uh, and, and this is something um, I'm a little bit sad on, but it played an important role on our capacity. And then we also put into the equation before shaking everything very, very strongly and make a decision, uh, the importance of the project for the Jenkins uh, project. Important message is it's not a judgment on your capacity or skills. So this, this is important. There are many, many parameters that play there. So I want to acknowledge disappointment is not easy. The people that already went through that process know what I'm, and, and the people that are currently, that were not uh, selected know what I'm talking about. Uh, I have a few recommendation, a few things that I want, would like to share. First, look forward. Don't look behind or have regrets. The only thing where you, or the only reason you would look behind is to be proud of all the work that was accomplished, the things you learned uh, during these long weeks and months of uh, preparation. So look forward, continue to learn. And the tip is build your open source or your Jenkins muscle in the same spirit as the discussion we had in December. They prepare, learn, uh, get to know people. Uh, I 
am available for uh, whoever wants to have a discussion uh, with me on the experience. I'm interested to know how you feel and, and how you perceived uh, what happened. So I'm, I'm, I'm ready to make my time available uh, for that. Uh, I'm ready also to, discur to discuss with you individually so we can speak more freely uh, how to move forward. So I will not discuss any uh, details on the ranking decision and how we made soldiers. Don't try it. How to look forward. So please don't give up. And when you fail or you have a problem, don't give up. Learn from the experience. Fail fast. But uh, learned from it. Uh, here you see a few comments. Uh, some people that were selected uh, were rejected several times. So you need to continue, improve, get stronger, uh, get more experience. Uh, continue to invest yourself in open source generally, uh, not only Jenkins. Jenkins is the most important open source project as every, everybody knows. I'm not serious there. Uh, but it, open source is a great school and a great way to acquire new skills that are useful uh, in life, but also in a professional uh, career. The general advice I'm, I would, would like to give is observe, look what's happening. Uh, get in, uh, uh, so... Um, learn from what's what's happening and this you can only do by getting involved so participate to meeting participate uh to to and i give details after get your hands dirty and and this is the way you're going to uh, to learn don't forget it's not only hard skills programming and, and java and these kind of things it's also about soft skills uh, uh, that we're talking uh, here. In particular, so several people had very interesting, uh, so the projects and the proposal on these projects were very good, very strong, had very good ideas uh, uh, in them. A lot of prototypes and uh, ideas uh, were in these documents. I know there's a lot of work and sweat uh, uh, in it. Submit them. Just create a PR and have have the people, have the community discuss them, uh, improve them. The best example I can give for that. Now, forgive me, I am I forget the names, so uh, I apologize for that. But one of the projects uh, we had that we had to, to stop before was about the user interface for plugin health probes the user interface the project was dropped and one of the uh, would be contributors for that project uh, where well, he just submitted uh, the pr of start of his work this pr was uh, uh, merged and was a huge improvement and also a first step uh, in that direction. And it, it had a lot of positive influence. Uh, I heard a lot of people uh, talking in good uh, uh, about that. Don't let, let the effort get wasted. You're going to learn and you're going to get rewards uh, for that. If you want to do that, just remember that you will be uh, using the uh, resources of uh, plugin maintainers or the community. It's less focused as the mentorship for Google Summer of Code. So uh, you will have to find solution by yourself and it will be more slow and also more uh, effort intensive but this can spread on, on weeks, months, so no problem. So it is the first advice. Second advice is to attend the special interest groups, so the SIGs. 
there is a UI UX, uh, uh, a SIG, for instance. There is also the platform SIG. There, there is also the documentation SIG. These are meetings that are held uh, at very regular interval. They're uh, uh, documented on the Jenkins IO site. Uh, this is where you're going to meet or listen to uh, other members of the community, more experienced, and you will learn there what's going on, what is currently important or useful for the Jenkins product, what to focus on. So, well, okay, I'd like, I like uh, 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 user interfaces, user experience, I have skills there, but where should I work on? Uh, this is where you will learn. I know, oh, this is important. Okay, I can participate to the effort. So this is why I'm pointing to that. Uh, and also you will know who are the, the people in the community and they will also start to learn who you are. So this is also very useful stuff for you personally, but also for preparing the, the next GSOC uh, run. Stay engaged and active. One tip, so web, uh, submit PRs and things like that. But if you still want to learn uh, something that I, I find very useful is any your subjects uh, and, and the matter you're interested in, uh, look at the PRs that are submitted by more experienced people. So try to understand it, uh, contribute to the review and uh, suggest uh, improvement or ask clarifications. So I don't understand uh, why this particular test uh, is included. This is a very good way to learn how it's done. The, the easier thing to, to do and, and very positive thing is you try out the PR. So you check it out, build it, and then you try to reproduce the problem and see if it's solved. And you find bugs or, or tests that do not cover uh, some of the, the, the configuration or test case. This is very useful contribution and will help you uh, to, uh, to move on in your learning path. The next uh, great opportunity to uh, to learn is Oktoberfest. Uh, for people not familiar with uh, Europe, so in October, there is a big uh, beer uh, fair or, or, or party, especially in the southern part of Germany. It's known Oktoberfest. Uh, and they changed the name. So look up on the internet if you don't know what it is. Uh, it's a great way to uh, to learn, and it's also a good way to win some some swags. So uh, I'll be uh, also doing some promotion and guidance uh, during that uh, that event. Now a big recommendation I have: uh, we're outside of the scope of. Uh, GSOC, where a lot of resources from uh, the the organization from Jenkins project are mobilized. So uh, be respectful and humble in your participation. So uh, be specific in your questions. Uh, so. <clears throat> uh, uh, especially as, uh, for instance, maintainers or other people are very busy people, are generally very focused uh, on some of the issues, uh, uh, be respectful of their time and do your homework. Do, do your homework in having looked on your own for the solution or why am I, why am I stuck and try to describe your problem what you tried uh, to do as precisely as possible. And be patient. Uh, here uh, for GSOC preparation, we had a lot of people involved 
Yeah, I, I want to give a, a, a shout out to uh, Chris Turn, who was particularly uh, uh, present in the presentation. And um, uh, so I hope the noise of the rain doesn't get through the, mic the microphone. So uh, be patient uh, for that. So these are the kind of things, the, the things I wanted to share uh, with you. Uh, so I open up now the discussion for the people that were selected, not selected, or to what I uh, uh, to what I said. Alyssa, is my is the rain getting into my mic? Not at all. Can hear you. For me, it's for you. It's clear. I do okay. not hear any rain at all. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, either everybody fell asleep during my my talk or uh, open for question. Don't forget to unmute. I, I think yeah. somebody wanted to intervene during my talk. I don't know if it was Alyssa or Jakruti. I mean, no, it wasn't me. It was me. I was saying that Edwin has already told me that already told me that he wouldn't be available, I think, until 10th or 11th of May, something like that. Okay, good. I leave more time than I have some practical details. Hello. Am I audible? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. I wanted to say that uh, my exams are uh, shifted to, uh, they are started from uh, tomorrow till uh, 13th May. So I won't be able to uh, give my all in the, until exams are over. That's okay. You should write it down somewhere so that everybody knows the other mentors were not there, for example. Uh, so shoot uh, an email or something so that we know that we can't expect to see you in the coming week. No, uh, I'll try to attend every meeting and all that, uh, but uh, uh, like I won't be able to uh, research and study of course. for exams. G Shock. Okay. By exams, I'm, I'm uh, most course, important. more important than, yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, we'll, we'll... You don't have Go to ahead. attend just each and every meeting. If we could just make one meeting with the mentors uh, so that we can discuss the project, uh, that would be enough. Don't stress too much on that just stay focused on your exam and just one meeting half an hour at worst and that will be okay yeah. thank you a lot of things can be done offline so i think for the people that were selected it's quite overwhelming because now you you realize now it's a real thing and and especially with the mail with all the the thing i sent yesterday so don't don't get scared by that and ask for guidance to your mentors. Your mentors are there and share that with them. And I think okay. one thing I, I learned from last year's GSOC is over communication is much welcome. So even if you can't attend meetings, um, Keep the communication line open with status updates, questions via emails like, um, you know, Jean-Marc mentioned earlier that there's other ways of communications, but over communication is very helpful and it's key. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, would, I would it. rephrase it. It's key and helpful. So turn it the other way. It's, it's very important. Who wanted to add something, Ashutosh? Uh, we have a I'll question. try to uh, over communicate. Okay, good. Chris, you wanted to say something? Yeah, we have a question in the chat. Okay. Can you point it or maybe uh, rephrase it or? Um, okay, we will read it. it. So it says uh, it's from, uh, from Sartak Many. It says, Congratulations to everyone selected. What are some of the mistakes I've made personally, even though so? Any other mistake, improvements, suggestions. Thank you. That's what it says. Um, 
this is something I prefer to discuss one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and these are not mistakes. Uh, and let's look forward and see it, uh, General. But I'm I'm ready to discuss it. Um, I I prefer to do it uh, uh, one on one. The general rule in open source is praise is done in public, critique is done in private. And uh, so. Uh, take the opportunity to uh, to have a discussion. Okay, other questions? Currently, I'm already working on a PR, but since Edwin is not available, actually, so I need some help with the PR. So in the meantime, what other things I can do? Mute. So I'm unmuted now. So the phone was ringing here. Uh, okay, the case of uh, Adrian. Uh, I will look with Jake to see how we can jumpstart uh, the preparation. There are a few things that you can prepare and they can be prepared uh, offline. Uh, so at your own pace. Uh, the first thing is, uh, for instance, your biography or your presentation on a Jenkins IO site. Uh, this is um, a file and, and you can ask on the GSOC um, uh, uh, Gitter channel if you need pointers. It's a file you need to create on the Jenkins IO repository. Uh, that follows a certain format where you're going to give who you are, what is your background, and, and show you look what the, the others did, a little picture or uh, an avatar. And uh, this, this can already be, uh, be done. Uh, so the no GSOC contributor file, I'm seeing the chat here, is not the file to update. It's a file to duplicate. So create one with your own name. And you submit a pull request uh, on it. And if the syntax is not correct, uh, you will be helped. Uh, then there is also the project page. Uh, and we can uh, 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 point to that where a certain number of details uh, need to be uh, filled in, added, for instance, an abstract of the project, some links and these kind of things. So you can already work uh, on that, submit a pull request and ask uh, the mentors to review it. So this you can already do and will take some uh, some time. One of the expectation is for uh, the end of the bonding period is that you're able to do um, a blog post on Jenkins IO where you will describe who you are, what the project is about and uh, what you're going to do. So you're going to address to the community to explain what you're going to do. And because now people, that didn't participate to Google Summer of Code are eager to know uh, what 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 is this? What are the probes that are going to be added? So you can do some publicity over the work. Does that answer your question, Chakruti? Yes, thank you so much. Okay, so don't hesitate to ask the questions on the GSOC SIG uh, channel or uh, on uh, community.jenkins.io. Working asynchronous is a, a perfect way uh, of doing. Uh, I have a general uh, detail that I didn't raise in, in my presentation discussion at the beginning, was that we will continue to hold uh, at this time, uh, an, an open office hour. It will be dedicated to uh, the, the GSOC contributors, uh, the mentors, 
it's a moment where we'll sit together and see where we're standing. Uh, the focus is on the people participating to GSOC. But if people want to listen in, uh, there's no problem with that, as long as you don't disturb uh, the flow of uh, of the meeting. Now, if the time doesn't make it, it doesn't work, uh, and we have a majority for that, we can shift the time. But on Thursday uh, evening at this particular time, it worked for the majority uh, uh, of the people. We can move it. If you can't make it uh, once in a while exams work or whatever uh they, they, hey we're not at school here we're we're here with with adults working together there's a community so we'll 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 move forward uh, last year these office hours for gsoc participants were uh felt as being very helpful and uh, just creating a community very interesting. Do we have other questions? Doesn't look like it, John Mark. No, okay. So uh, if people would like, uh, like Sachtak, uh, I've seen Mukul is also around, uh, don't hesitate to reach out directly uh, to me. And, and I'm ready to discuss there are a few things where I will not get in. Don't try to, so no complaining, whining, why wasn't I picked up? It's unfair. And these, I will not go into these discussions. So, you know, we're here to think and build for the future so that you can make it in the future uh, GSOC um, edition. Okay, uh, Jean-Marc, but how should they contact you? Uh, via email. Yeah, but, I edit the email. I'm going to get spammed. Uh, so the, yeah. the presentation slides will be uh, published and, uh, well, okay. Yeah. My email address is already flying all over the internet. So. But I think they can also find your email address when you send them, um, send the, the folks who were declined. Um, personal email, right? And yeah. They can have your email from there too. I will, uh, I will reach out to a couple of the, the but whoever uh, once can, can reach out. Or maybe via discourse, you know, on community.jenkins.io, you can send a DM. I don't know if you read them. No. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. Takes some time sometimes, but uh, I'll just, just ping me. I'm ready to discuss. I'm also interested in these discussions. I, I want to learn what is your experience? What can we do to improve uh, our handling uh, of it? What was difficult? So I'm, 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 and also uh, as a human experience, I'm interested uh, in that. Okay. Good question, Chris. Other questions? Otherwise, we can uh, close a call here. Um, yeah, I thought no. I, I we put in the and we put also in the, the meeting notes my email address. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So congratulations to the people that were uh, selected. For the others, uh, don't give up, continue, and uh, have a nice rest of the day and have a nice weekend. Thanks, bye, bye everybody. Everyone. Bye. bye. Thank you, bye. everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye.